Okay, just need to check my audio levels a little bit because this game is like... Lower. <clears throat> Alright, so this is Mr. of the Seed. This is the expansion of Dark Forces 2. And it's pretty much like a baby Dark Forces 2. Because it's like the same run compressed in a 20 minute, minute speed run. It's like the same mechanics, all explosive boosting, force powers. And there is a big difference though, is that there is one force power that's gonna allow us to skip a huge ton of the game. So, I was just gonna be it's just a little bit chaotic because like, it's like super fast paced and at least for the first two levels, so bear with me a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do the countdown now in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So this level usually takes like a minute and a half, but we can just skip all of it because the end level is like super close. We just need to take a ride. Which is also the hardest to skip in the run. Here, thank you very much. And right there is the end of the level. That right skip all the on the level. And he only can finish the level in like 18 seconds compared to the minute and a half. Now for the second level, um I got the rocket launcher there. I'm gonna use it for here. I'm actually gonna reset that one. So much damage. Much better. Come on, really? It's got hit there. So just as I said before, this, the first part of the speedrun is like super hard. No reset friendly at all. No marathon friendly at all. Can this guy spin around? I keep saving when he's actually shooting at me. Not bad. Okay, now we have enough shields to actually do this skip over here. Actually, I'm still gonna try. It's still better than my previous marathon run. <laughs> I I stuck here like for like a minute. Controls have been blasted. But yeah, um, just keep a huge portion of the level there. And what I did with the rocket boost there is that you had to do that in order to cancel like, the falling animation, and dead animation. Because in this level you start falling for like two seconds or a second and a half. And you're gonna just Trigger the front animation. Yeah, that's like the first two levels. The hardest part of the run. Let's continue now. Relax a little bit. Now, the third level is quite annoying actually because, once again, it involves a little bit of backtracking. And it's pretty easy to lose all the shields. So, in this case, I'm just gonna kill a few enemies so they don't bother me later. These guys have sticky rockets that stick on your body and they explode. It kind of ruins, ruins uh, stops your momentum and also do a shit ton of damage. Um, well, so in this game, uh, for the first four levels, you play as Kyle Katarn, this guy over here, the same guy that you know in the J9 series. And you have like most of. you have almost all your. Four force powers at your disposal. However, after this level we're gonna switch characters. Mark it. 
So this is the last level when we play as Kyle with all this for these force powers and all of that. Another thing about this game is just like the just like the base game, there's a amount of downtime. Like elevator sections like this one you had to wait. There's also in-game cutscenes. So you cannot escape. <laughs> Let's find we need to destroy these coolers when our lightsaber. We cannot use those guns and use our or lightsaber. And now we can store open. So you'll drop it boost there to speed things up. Swing is like super slow, even with force speed on. <laughs> I'm not gonna use my force speed here because it's kind of a waste. I'm gonna go there. No, I don't. Close to 1 HP. It's gonna be kind of rough. It's fine. We got this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's, it's just a health pack right over there. There you go. There's a revive here that restores all my health and shields. But we can actually continue. Oh my god. It's far as quite annoying if you go fast because you can actually bounce with all the your momentum you are can you have. Just fall off. Let me just rocket jump here to actually grab this. You can actually do this with our rocket jump, but it's like way harder. So give me the boost, thank you. What's the trade you can do here? Oh, okay. okay. So this is the new character of this game, it's Mara Jade. You have you know your Star Wars, you know her your hair of hair before. Um the problem in the speedrun is that she you start this level without your force powers. Like the only force power you have is force jump level one. And you saw me use force speed there, that's actually not Mara's force speed, that's Kyle's force speed. Because at the, at the beginning of this level, you have like a half of a second where you can actually use Kyle's force power powers. So, as soon as I spawn here, I just start mashing the key and I get a uh, force, force speed. But unfortunately, you can only use it once. So for this part, you can do it run normally. And this is like the only level where you don't use force speed at all. At all. Because you have to level it up, level it up like late at the end of this level. So for that reason, we're gonna take our time here to once again find all the secrets. Because if I get all the secrets, I get more force points. And at the end of this level, if I get all the secrets, I can I can unlock force speed level four and force jump level three. And once again, yeah, the time that you save by having a speed early is like way more than the time you waste by finding the secret. It's kind of a trade-off, but it's actually... This is good. It's faster, actually. It's not a secret over here. And coming on next is like huge skipping of this... Uh, of this level. You skip like a huge portion of what you had to do. The big downside though is that it's totally luck-based. But you're in a real attempt, you probably wanna reset here a lot because it's just RNG. What well, pretty much you do here is that you go all this room, you jump, and not like that. You want to lure these Camorians, these pigs, to this corner, and if you are lucky enough, their huge belly is gonna open this door like that. Wow, that's pretty good RNG. <laughs> I'll take it. Every time. But yeah, doing that sometimes can take like more than 40 seconds, and sometimes you get it instantly. It's just this luck basis as before. But that went pretty well. So step before, and we get more force points, and now we can force speed level 4. Which is actually pretty useful for this level because we have to just run around some small tasks. 
So we had to find a target, pretty much. And before meeting with him, we wanna just sabotage his ship so he won't escape the planet. And now we can just go to the cantina to actually face him. And as I said before, this game actually had in-game cutscenes, where you cannot skip as well. Skip. So now the target just went to the back door and escaped. He went to a hideout, but we already know where already know where, where he is. So. Once again, another cutscene. We have enough. And we have to find this. We just, just need to finish the level now. So this level is also quite annoying. Just to see there. I need to grab the gun from that Tandushan, and at the same time, now I need to lose shields. It's super important that I don't lose shields. Thank you. Because I'm gonna do a series of jumps that require shields. First one is right over here. Okay, got the first try, that's pretty good. That one can be as intense and annoying to try to get. And the second one is strike right next. Yeah, you don't have shields here, you, you are pretty much screwed. This one is kinda annoying because you saw those enemies standing right on the ledge and they can actually start throwing detonators at you. But unfortunately that didn't happen. Didn't I just leave? I jumped. I took the good line for this jump in order to actually make it to this window. This boy is having to go inside and taking the stairs. It's actually way faster. And now we're gonna max out our force jump. Um, force jump actually is gonna be useful for this level because it's a huge skip right at the end. So on this level we are we are prisoners. We just escape. And the first thing we have to do is retrieve our lightsaber, our purple lightsaber. Actually, in this room, along with a rancor. This rancor is like, you see, the only thing though is that if you get craft, you can lose like five seconds because you had to quick load from the main menu instead of the game menu. That one. Okay, so and now you pretty much finish the uh, continue as intended. So, Remember to go. I go to the secret because I need I need the rocket launcher. I'm gonna use it at the honest level. And also I need some shields as well, so I just wanna take those. Because what I'm gonna do is that there's like a huge force field that you have to go across. I'll go around, but you can just jump over it. Get a good rocket jump, like that one. That's the end. Had to just go and trigger. And that a boy is having to go around. It's like a huge skip. Now this is the second half of the game. And these levels are also hard. But not because of the amount of skips, it's because it's pretty easy to lose your health, especially in this level when there isn't, there isn't many regen around, at least for the first half of it. Because that, once again, there's these enemies that have uh, rocket launchers, and they do, and they have sticky rockets. You can get screwed pretty easily by them. That should be fine for the rest of the level. Now, to open this door, we need to call for an astromech, which is right over there. Spawn. However, he's like super slow, so you just fear you. 
It's like super slow, so he's just gonna push him forward with our force speed. It's like we're faster. Now you have, you have to finish the level as intended. I'm very good at health management, so you should be fine for the rest of the level. Especially because I have a, a revive over here. Should I consider about that? Now? Now, this part is a zero gravity sequence, and you gotta be careful if, because if you go full speed, you can actually die. You hit a wall. So, so load the droid there. And for the first thing we have to do on this level is to kill this loaded droid. We're gonna see him again, Champs of the Empire. Which is gonna be later on. Now this a few jumps here like quite annoying because you can only do a single jump here. And you want to line right reach that door because inside that uh, red area you move like super slow. There is one, another of those over here. This, this one. Ah. The shields. Could we just skip those, honestly? But sure, we're not gonna finish the level. So, just like in Dark Forces 2, there's a trick here that involves killing myself so my body clips through a wall, a door. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. And that triggers the end level. Again. Now I'm gonna look at, unlock a new force power that you only see in this game. It's called Farsight, which allows you to do this. And this power in particular allows you to go to a spectator mode, pretty much. You have like a camera that go around the map. You can control as well. But for some reason, you use that power. Give me a second. Okay. You use that power in the middle of, a, of the air, and the speed of this camera is transferred to your character. So what happens is that, is that you get a, a sprint for a short period of time, like that one. Downside though is that if you hit a once again, if you hit a wall, you can pretty much insta die. That's like the only part when we use it in the speed run. Alright, now for German Cast, my first Star Wars planet. Um, this level is quite interesting, honestly. First thing off is that there are some, some sections where you can actually lose your force powers because of some lizards. So you have to know exactly where to go in order to actually not lose your force powers. And the other reason of that is that you need some force for this boss fight. There is three uh, boss fights in this in this game. You're gonna see just one, which is this one coming up next. Because you'd pretty much skip the other two boss fights. This girl um, is super tanky. Um, what, we use, what we, we are doing right now is that I'm using Force Persuasion. It allows me to go invisible. But she won't see me. Okay, I can just land hit, hits on her. The other problem with this boss fight, as you saw, there is that she starts sometimes spamming Force Line. Actually, lose normal health. And the other thing that happens is that she starts spamming jump, she starts jumping around. Now this animal is not great here, can body block you pretty hard. Have like a huge hitboxes, just like the um, the Camorians. We almost, almost at the end. Like pretty much the next level is pretty much the last one because we skip completely. Skip the other one. You're gonna see how. <sighs> okay, so this level is like pretty straightforward, honestly. There's not much to talk about. You better learn. Thank you. And 
And the only thing about this level is that uh, you saw the numbers there, those big animals, <laughs> enemies. Uh, there's a bunch of them in this level, and again, they can just body block you and, and do melee damage, which actually can one shot you. So, to avoid that from happening, we're just gonna use persuasion again to actually go invisible, and they will. Now, the reason why I say that this is the final level <laughs> is because, well, for a very long time we actually, we, we did, like, the final level as intended, which usually takes, like, three minutes, or something like that, over three minutes. But, we don't do that anymore, because we skip the whole, the whole of it. And it's a very interesting trick. Which, once again, I'm not gonna explain it uh, right off the bat. I'm just gonna finish the run and then I'm gonna explain it. But pretty much, you're gonna see just just like 18 seconds of the, of the level. A few flashes, you're gonna be like totally confused of what's going on. Uh, hello. She just quick loaded. I don't know why, why it's so stubborn and trying to jump again. <laughs> yeah, also get ready with time. Sometimes you get those unlucky bounces because you're you are having some yeah. a lot of momentum. Finish the level. If you choose to continue, Mara, your Jedi I power. Knew you the right place. Place. I know your intentions are to save me, Mara. Feel the power embrace you. Time. And that was Mr. the Seed, and I hope that was a sub-20. Looks like a sub-20. But yeah, that's like the final level of the run. And you don't see much of it because you just skip all of it, all of it. So pretty much you had to like finish this puzzle I knew you would to actually right make choice. it all the way down there. Follow and that takes like three minutes. And even a, there's a the boss fight you. between that, all of that. And you cannot jump over Feel here like normally because you trigger the end level of that animation. Because the, the developers are smart, of course. But you can actually skip all of that by using, oh, again, Farsight. Because when we activate Farsight, we can just cancel the Fallen animation and skip all of that. And the other cool thing is that you despawn the boss. You can, you're supposed to fight Kyla here, but it doesn't matter because you cannot kill Kyle and the uh, intended and in, in the game. The only way to finish the game is when you surrender by just turning your lightsaber off. And that's like the end level. That's how the game ends. It's like very anti-climatic. Anti <laughs> yeah. That will be it. Uh, that was Mr. DC. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned because coming on next is Jedi Academy. So 